Now, I know it's been a while since I appeared on camera, but you know every time I'm here, I wanna talk about some classic moments that happened in hip hop, and today's no different. Today I wanna discuss the beef between Dipset and the UK, and how Joel's got kidnapped while he was out there. Shout out to all the yo-yas on the east side, it's your boy KD, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, let's get into it. Now there's a crew coming out of South London called the So Solid Crew, who had success in the music industry garnering a few hits in the early 2000s. Members of that crew would get into promoting shows and through the connections that they have made in the industry, they were able to get in contact with Def Jam and book a show with Cameron. Now at this time in 2004, Dipset was on top of the charts and the movement was worldwide. They even had a group from the UK called SAS that would serve as the UK division of Dipset. Now, excitement for the show was high, and with all the promotion around the city, there was a lot of anticipation for the show. Even SAS was excited to see their Dipset brothers perform in the UK. The So Solid crew booked a first class flight for Dipset, and they were set to stay at a luxury hotel in London. Their manager, Big Joe, received the booking deposit, which was said to be anywhere from 70,000 to 100K. Now, as the date of the show arrives, unfortunately for the So Solid crew, Cameron did not show up, leaving a bunch of fans disappointed, but more importantly, the So Solid crew was livid. After spending all the money that they did on marketing and having to give everybody refunds for the show, they wanted their get back on Dipset. I meant to come over and from next minute I hear they're not here. Flights are booked. You know I mean? First class flights, hotels are booked. You know what I mean? Jim Jones came on Chase FM the day before. Big up, so solid, North Star. Du -du -du. You know what I mean? Like, we come in, uh. next minute they don't turn up. I'm not hearing from them. SAS, who was also confused about the no show, got in contact with Cameron to find out exactly what happened. And they said that Cameron blamed it on paperwork and flights as per Big Joe. Megas called Cam and said, What are you guys doing? Why, why didn't you come out? It's like, Oh, son, Big Joe said something so to do paper, with right, paperwork or something to do with all the, right flights, all the flights or something like that. And we was just like, Yo, fam, you know how much money like, it's been? It's promotion everywhere for this. Like, I was more thinking of the fans, even like, Yo, you lot, like, you should have came. So, oh, yeah, Cam said, oh, we could have worked it out. So I'm thinking, yo, like, so, this is mad. Is mad. So when, when Meg was running around in South London or whatever, he's with Hayes or whatever, in Hayes, man will part to him and say, yeah, you man are cool. But see that man there that you man roll with? They can't come back here, you know? Two to three years passed after this incident, and there has been no reconciliation between Cameron, Big Joe, and the So Solid crew. Jewels, on the other hand, is set to embark on the European leg of his tour. Now, while at their hotel in the UK, they're accompanied by SAS. But trouble is not too far behind because the So Solid crew arrived to the lobby of that hotel accompanied by about 30 people demanding to see Joel Santana. SAS comes down and they try to step in and calm down the whole situation, claiming that the person that they need to actually speak to is Big Joe. He's apparently the person that had the money because Cameron never saw the money according to Cam and Joel's never saw the money either. But the So Solid crew was not hearing it and they demanded to speak to Joel Santana. With all the commotion going down in the lobby, the police were called. Now noticing that Joel's was the reason for all the commotion, the police took Joel's and escorted him through the back door. Now the police escort the van with Joel Santana to a safe location, but it looks like the UK goons were not too far behind behind and they followed Joel's and once the police left they pulled over their van and took them and I'm gonna say this in quotations kidnapped them the story goes that Joel's after this was forced to perform free shows to pay back the debt from their discrepancy earlier and this is where the footage the hilarious footage of Joel's and JR Ryder with the UK goons and honestly you can you can kind of see Joel's trying to keep his cool throughout the whole situation, but you could tell it was just uncomfortable overall. Just take a look at this for yourself. Heard up. 
I want to tell man about where the realest yeah. fucking niggas out there. Yeah. All fucking day in it. Are you nuts? Are you nuts? Swing that shit to Jim. Swing that. I don't have my shit. Yeah, listen, listen. Shout out to my nigga Jim Jones. Dan 45, Jim Jones. Yeah. And I ain't talking the stage, Jim Jones. I'm talking Brixton, Jim Jones. Dan no, soon come home. Now you can be the major job. Yeah. So they set one thing straight. SAS are no longer the set word. <laughs> now this this shit was hilarious to me. I know I know French Montana had something to do with this video even being filmed because it was on a I believe on a Cocaine City DVD. But French and Max V also had some jokes about the whole situation themselves. Oh, we was out. Oh, Trizzy Wizzy. Oh, Trizzy Wizzy. Oh, 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 it's your boy, Joel Dipshit. Shout to Jim Jones. Yo, Jack, <laughs> Bricks and Jim Jones. You got caught with a big 45 on a ticket. We don't forget you, ain't it? Hold up. Swing that, Santana. Swing that. Oh, swing that. Oh, <laughs> After this, I guess everything kind of cooled down. They let Joel Santana go. But this drama is not something that just ends after a few years. This beef is actually still going on to this day. But a few years later, after this whole Joel Santana situation, Cameron was booked to return to the UK. Now, I believe this was Cameron's first time being booked in the UK since the no show back in 2004 and just to let y'all know the uk goons were still on high alert and they were in attendance to this cameron show and were waiting for cameron to take the stage but unfortunately for them cameron must have gotten a tip or a heads up something because he did not show up to the show once again once this got announced the uk goons rushed the stage But Cameron was already gone, skedaddled. Now Cameron got out of that situation scot-free, but the best part of this particular situation was the skits that Cameron put on his Instagram right after it went down. <laughs> Disguised this dip set to jump camera. Wicked idea. Safe, man, safe. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yo, all I know is that the drama between Dipset and the UK goons is not completely over. Who knows what's gonna happen next on this saga? But it's definitely been a hilarious situation to see unfold. What do you guys think about this whole situation between Dipset and the So Solid crew? 
what in actuality do you think happened? Do you think Big Joe ran off with that money? Or do you think Cameron ain't really give a fuck and didn't respect the UK's gangster? Let me know in the comments. It's good to be back here in front of the camera. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.